Well, now what are we going to do? <laughs> We're making it's it back. It's too friggin' high. Putting it back two wheel drive. It's too high. <sighs> God, it is high. I it's know. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be that high. It's uh it's Saturday in the shop. We're getting ready to start the uh, instructional video for the the kits. Uh, we're gonna try to get as much done today as we can. We got to go to uh, one of our friends is getting married this weekend, so we got to break off a little early to go to a wedding rehearsal. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna we're gonna do a YouTube regular YouTube video with this build. But the actual really detailed uh, in depth instructions for the kit is just gonna be solely for the people that bought the kit. But uh, you will be seeing us do the build kind of from afar on the YouTube channel, but uh, we're really going to do the detailed step-by-step uh, -step instructions on the um, on the install. And and the reason we decided to do that is because we we've, we've got a channel, and I, I see a lot of of uh, things that you buy on the internet from companies, just different things, and and all they have is just a PDF file or something is like a one sheet instruction uh, sheet, and, that, and that's all it is. And I've I've looked at a lot of them, and this has nothing to do not van stuff. They're just uh, stuff in general for fabricating and stuff you do. And me even halfway knowing how to do things, it would looking at it from the perspective of somebody that's never done it. I, I would never even attempt to use those instructions because it's just the, the pictures are vague the description is vague it just kind of hits high spots so we really want to uh just want to do this for the the diyers that uh a lot of you guys that know what you're doing and have fab worked uh in the past will be you know you, a lot of it'll be just stuff that you already know but this is just for the guys that that have never really done it that that want to tackle it and uh and go for it because it is something that anybody can do we're not gonna lie and say it's easy it, it is work it's uh it's not a very easy job to tackle but it is something that anybody can do if they pay attention and really want to do it so uh, that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna get started on that we'll keep you up to date on it Okay, we're uh, we're down in the shop. We uh, getting ready to see uh, the new video. Seth is uh, working on it now. But before we get started in that video, want to let y'all know. I know we've had a lot of people messaging us and wanting to know if we had any vans built ready for sale. Well, we don't, but we know of one that is for sale now. If y'all remember the gray matter uh, build that we did, you can go back and look at the videos of gray matter. I talked to Tom. He is uh, he's had nothing bad. Just the, what he was planning on doing in life, life changes. His plans have changed, so he has decided to sell Gray Matter. So if anybody is interested in uh, Gray Matter, a four-wheel drive van, it is a super nice van. It is solid, especially somebody up north. I know the way the rust is on stuff up north. If you want a good, solid, rust-free van, this is it. And what we'll do, uh, we didn't discuss price, what he wanted with it, anything or anything. I just told him that we would put it on the channel and put it out there. If anybody's interested in it, send us an email. Seth will put the email link in the uh, in the description. Send me an email, and I'll get all your information and get you in touch with Tom. And then y'all, we won't even get in the middle of it, and y'all can work it out and uh, get you that. But that that'd be a super nice fan for somebody if it's wanting one. So it's one that we just did. Uh, so yeah, if you're interested in it, shoot us an email. I'll get you in touch with Tom and check the description 
uh, once the van is not available anymore, we will put in the description that the van has been sold. So if you come in and you're looking at this video, check the description first to see if the van is still available before you send an email. But anyway, looking for a nice van, that's a good one. Give him a call or give us a call and we'll get you in touch with him. We appreciate everything. Thank y'all for watching. Keep watching, liking, subscribing, and we'll keep sending the videos out. Three, two, one, and quiet on the set. Okay, we are uh, we're in the middle of making the instructional video on Olivia's van. We uh, we got we got the engine cradle in yesterday. We're mounting the front plate now. We were talking this morning. We don't know. Uh, we were getting ready to go on and buy tires, but we actually don't know if uh, if we want to go with a thirty-three twelve fifty or a thirty-two eleven fifty. So we got some old. Uh, they're dry ride of tires, but we've got a set of 33s and a set of 32s. We're going to put those on there once we get it set like we want it and see which one looks the best and, and, and go with that. If, I'm going to say probably, probably 33. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it's going to be sitting... Uh, about like that right there. About high yeah, off the ground. Yeah, no, it will be sitting <laughs> like that. It'll be sitting uh, hey, like the, about the, like the dark blue band we've got thing. in some of the videos. Yeah. Like, excuse me. <coughs> Bless. <coughs> I've been battling the cold the last few days, so I'm sorry about that. But um, <laughs> we're gonna go. We're gonna use four inch springs on the front, and of course, level it up in the back and do whatever we have to do in the back. Uh, right now, we're not uh, we're not putting the transmission and transfer case in it yet because we don't have the transmission rebuilt. But we wanted to go on and get the the four wheel drive differentials and everything under it because we needed to make the video for the kits that people have bought so that's what we're doing it's uh it's saturday we got to break away for a wedding uh this afternoon we'll probably i don't see why i think we've got all the parts we need with the exception of shocks we should finish it up tomorrow uh because monday we've got to get in here and finish up some kit stuff we've got to work on some other the other stuff besides vans that we've got going on in the shop so we want to try to get it all done this weekend so uh 
that's what we're doing. Once you get your your front bar on, if if you do have a lift and uh, if doing your conversion has caused you not to be able to go to the gym, you can come in here and you can do pull-ups. <laughs> strong enough, it won't go anywhere, so you can get your workout in while you're doing your conversion on your back. There it is. Get on up there. Get do do a couple pulls there, I. Right? Oh, the cricking and cracking that is your shoulders. I heard it from that. I don't know how many more I could do. I'm 54 years old. I just did two. At 24, you could at least do one. Remember that time you said, remember that time you said, how many push-ups can you do? I did 25, and I was like, 26. And how old are you? 24. I was doing, when that was your age, I was 25. <laughs> hey, whoa, 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 what you doing? You can't, you got to do overhand, man. Oh, I it's didn't know. It's stuff. I didn't know. Oh. Oh. This sucks. <laughs> Getting oh, ready. Y'all know it's got oil on it. I just did it. Good day. Ah, oh, that was weak. <laughs> Here, I'll give it a go. I have done. All right, let's see what Seth's got. Any time to pull him. Ah! Oh, I can't do it. Ah. <laughs> My arms are a little skinnier than y'all. That guitar playing does it though. Yeah, I, all the all the all my hand strength is. Got to Wow. Now I can do underhand. Underhanded is it's harder, right? Close to it's harder. Yeah. Let's let's quit for her something. Yeah, we gotta go to a wedding. We all don't want to be like, hey, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> you don't. Want, oh, easy air on my hand. It's happening. <laughs> is that? Or, the, or a, a major step is happening. Got the axle over here. About to uh, bolt up that left leaf spring. The shackles, rear shackles. Roll that under there. What she yeah. say? We're gonna roll it under there and see. We're really, we're gauging to see uh, if we're gonna go with a 32 inch tire or a 33 inch tire. These are 32s. And it's going to be kind of hard to tell without the, without the rear being lifted up, but we're excited and want to see it. And this is the same axle we had under the high top van when we were testing uh, kit fitment on that van. That's the same axles and same tires and everything. Yes. So. Yeah, it is the same. I forgot about that. Ah. All the welding come out pretty. Awesome, Ivan did a really good job. Of course, those that bought the kits will see that in the instructional video. Oh man, it's, everything's falling apart. Your glasses. Gotta have those. <laughs> <laughs> but getting bushings in there now. Yeah, we are, uh, man. We've got a lot going on. We've got. We've got a lot. We got van builds, we got kits, we got other builds to finish up. So we're, uh, well, it's Sunday. We've been down here all day Sunday working on this. We usually don't work on Sundays, but and I tell you, it is, uh, every van we've done so far, we, we actually made the, the parts as we built the van. But being able to have the parts already pre-made just, it goes so much faster. We 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 started on this. Uh, well, we started on it yesterday morning. We had to go to a wedding. We only could work. We only worked just a couple hours down here. We got the front suspension dropped and the front plate mounted. The engine cradle mounted. And today we've uh, came down and welded up the uh, rear shackle hangers. And just uh, man, it just it just goes so much faster. It just so much faster to be able to to have all the stuff ready. So that jig, even even aside from selling the kits, 
the jig's gonna make it so much faster when we pull a band in here because we'll have all that stuff ready to go and just and just bolt it on there and uh, weld it up and not have to worry about making it as it's on there. But. Okay. <laughs> hey, how's it feel to see all your uh, parts laid out in about a million pieces? Pretty exciting. I've been uh, waiting for this for four four years now. Oh, uh, you haven't had the van four years. Quit that. <laughs> well, I got the van when I was 17. I'm 21 now, so... Mm. You do the math on that one. <laughs> <laughs> but that I'm very excited like about this. Me. Yeah. So... What's the what's the uh, as far as the aesthetics and the look and the and the goal of how the style will be? What are you going for? Like an '80s show truck, like an '80s with lights and like I want it to look like a Tonka toy, like right? One of those Tonka toys, like Fall Guy meets yeah. 1980s monster truck jamboree, <laughs> yeah. Meets uh, every awesome Tonka toy ever made, right? Sweet. I just wanted to look cool. That's it. Now, what was the name? A lot of people don't know the name of the van, which is a unique name. So. Ascended Blues, and she is ascending more. <laughs> I made that up the other day, and I was proud of it. <laughs> Sounds good. Are you sad to see the Kregers go? or Because I know you really like the Kregers. Yeah, but I hope you can keep them to put them on something else here soon. Right. But. And me and you painted the flames on the side, but that's also going to change when... Yeah, at hopefully. Some point. Hopefully yeah. that will turn into, um, I don't know what it's called, with the infinity lines in it. With, oh, with just like panel out. paint. Panel, yeah. yeah. That's the cool. goal, but we'll see what Seth comes up with. <laughs> well, this is no good. This is no good. <laughs> <laughs> Can I see your certification? And... Your license. Oh, You're looking jeans. at it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my other jeans. <laughs> oh, gosh. Looks good. Did you jump up on down? No, I'm trying to figure it out. I can't do oh, it yeah, yeah. Uh, so, we had something. Just like oh, that. where we stand on the bar. Yeah. This will work. This will work. Here, I can. I can say. Oh, we could have gone through. I don't think so. It's going. God, we're tired. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> That's freaking awesome, man. Love it. Look at that thing. That's yeah. <laughs> Dad's saying too. Yeah. I'll be. Nothing wrong with it. I'll be hammed. It looks like a monster truck. <laughs> <laughs> you keep saying that too high. <laughs> too high for her. <laughs> what are you? You gonna be jealous or something? <laughs> That's gonna be awesome. Well, now what we gonna do? <laughs> We're making it's it back. It's too friggin' high. Putting it back two wheel drive is too high. <sighs> God, it is high. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be that high. Here, go. All right, so, Ivan, how tall are you? I'm 6'8. Six, 6'8? Six. <laughs> 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 no, I think I'm. You're right. I think I'm 6'6. Six six foot. Six foot. So, well, you're, you're about shoulder height with the bottom of the mirror there. <laughs> Just to give. We could put 35s on there. I, I think we should. BLT. I, I, I think we should put some big old beefy 35s. 
Big nasty dog. <laughs> yeah, please. Nasty. 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 Feeling good going through the mountains this weekend. <laughs> like baby, the big blue muscular baby. <laughs> it definitely is going to need, for sure, 33. Yeah. Possibly 35 would work. I think the actual position perfect enough in that fender way. You shouldn't have any yeah. problems with the tire getting back into the rear fender. And when the suspension starts to press and it's going to yeah. push it back. All right, Monday morning. Uh, we didn't realize this, but we all walked down here. We had on I know. all had on our OK recycling hoodies. That was not. Uh, not again, quite. be sure to check out our buddies at OK Recycling. Uh, we got Olivia's van, got the front differential mounted up under it yesterday, and we came down here today after we got it sitting back on the ground instead of showing how we're gonna level it up on the lift. I think what we're gonna do now, instead of lift it up, we're gonna go with the Carolina squat. Yep. Nobody's done those on the vans. We're just gonna six lug up front. Yeah. Craigers and five lug out back. It's gonna tick Olivia off, but I, we think that it's gonna be something, uh, something new. Yeah. We're not going with the Carolina squat. We're, uh, I have actually got to run, get our, fill our uh, welding tank up. Uh, we've used it all up, welding up the kits and doing what we welded on Olivia's yesterday. The boys are going to work on some kits some. We're going to try to work on the rear of her van and try to get it up. What we're gonna do is uh, a shackle flip on the rear and probably two inch blocks. Uh, just with the other vans that we've done, the way that we mount the springs under the front, it, it's like a two inch difference of what a square body lift is. So usually if you uh, run a four inch spring on the front, you do a shackle flip, flip and a two inch block. If you run a six inch spring on the front and you're just gonna do a shackle lift, you'd have to do a four inch block. So uh, I think with hers, I don't like much more than a two inch, maybe a three inch block. For the time being, I think we're just gonna do a shackle flip, uh, put a two inch block on it and see how it does and work with it then to try to match it up with the front differential. If that, and eventually we probably will go and put leaf springs on the rear to lift it completely up with the leaf springs and get rid of the blocks all together and put the two and a half two inch wide springs on there or two and a half inch wide springs i'm sorry but uh yeah that's what we got going on today we're working on kits uh we got to get some more kits built and get them out we're uh got everything worked out i think on the ship and they're gonna start going out this uh probably the end of this week uh i gotta make some calls to some people that have sent messages uh some new people wanting some kits so we got a lot going on we just got to keep up with it mm -hmm. we'll mm -hmm. keep uh we'll keep video with it I guess me and Ivan are gonna get the front spring pads off that frame to mount this yes, front end the, under yeah, there. Yeah, the, the uh, U-bolt U-bolt uh, plates. Yeah. And then uh, we'll work on shocks. Uh, we got to get the brakes and all worked out for the rear. Cause right now we're just gonna do. I think I said it yesterday. We're gonna do just uh, Olivia's van two wheel drive right now because we don't have the tra four wheel drive transmission rebuilt yet. But um, we wanted to go on and get the. Uh, Get it done so we can have something to show people for the kits when they uh, buy them for the instructions on it. So uh, that's what we got. Yep. I'm going to Greensboro. All right. Let's get her done. Yep. Do it. To it. What flavor you got today, bud? <laughs> Lemon lime citrus. Citrus acid. Citrus, man. Disintegrate your stomach lining. Uh, yellow, green. Yellow green. See, they discontinued Sierra Mist, so they just put it all in that with some battery acid. And ghost, Tastes that's what good. you turn into after you drink it, is a ghost. You just 
<laughs> Ascend Dead. and float away. Dead. Rock there. All right. Well. Dead. Now that he's gone, what are we actually going to do? I'm going to build some cool fenders to put on this sucker. Just some nice, cool, maybe sharp. And then we're going to build a bumper. A big old bumper sticks out. Oh, one of those stingers that sticks up to about yon way. Maybe out a pipe or something. Leave a space for the winch. Put a big old bull ring in it. Call it quits. <laughs> All right, we got Olivia's axle up under here. Uh, it's bolted up. We're gonna finish buttoning up the crossover steering and all that, and then we'll start on the rear end. But uh, here's our kit. We got it on. Uh, we have to scan around and show you what it looks like. If you uh, wanna know how to install one or do all that, you'll have to buy the kit and see the instructional video for that. But anyway, check it out. Oh, we got left to do up here. We got to put the front bumper on. Uh, I think we said we're not going to do the. Uh, I already said this. We're not going to do the transmission transfer case yet because we still got to rebuild the uh, transmission. But we're probably going to start on the rear end this afternoon after lunch. We'll. Uh, I think we've decided right now on hers. We're going to do a uh, shackle flip and two inch blocks. We think that'll level this one up, and then later on down the road, we're probably going to. Uh, change everything over and go to two and a half inch springs on the rear and just do all all springs and not have no blocks on the rear. Alrighty, bud. <laughs> we got the rear end somewhat undone ish. Okay, and now we have these, which is our new spring pads to replace the stock ones. Our spring plates, spring plates, whatever. So that'll be those, but I think we said that the shackle flip, we're gonna need to move that pin back because it's moving the spring forward, move the axle back into the fender well with the way we do the shackle flip. But eventually, like Dad said, we're gonna get the proper lift springs and uh, it'll have more of an arc, but the pin will go back to the center. So hence the two holes and that'll move back there. But just taking them through the new oh, yeah. spring plates, yeah. all that, about to do shackle the flip. shackle flip, yep. Yeah. And it looks like we're about to drop it. Yeah, I don't know what to do about our van. We always decide to do them, and we're under our crunch time. Yeah. On top of everything else we've got going on, we're going to try to get this thing ready so Ivan and Olivia can drive it to Glade Spring this weekend. So. Yeah. Yeah. Be yeah. I'm excited. I'm going to do it. Do it to it.
these come from the factory. I don't know why they do. I guess this is why. With two different holes here. Most all the bands we've done, the springs are mounted in this first hole. So when you do the shackle flip, it pulls the spring down and it, it makes the axle go forward. So that's why we have to relocate the axle with the uh, spring pad. But with this one being in that fr front hole, I'm thinking we can do the shackle flip and move them in this back hole and it might position the axle in the center of the wheel well and we won't have to do reposition it on the, uh, with the spring pad on the axle tube itself. So that's what we're doing now. Alright, Alright, you need to uh, take this out. Flip it around. Yeah, I have yeah, it. Yeah. Right. I'm get the impact. You, think you know all about that? I know you got it. I know you got it. Alright, so this, this is what we was talking about, the differences in the van. I thought, sure, a shackle flip and two inch blocks, I thought we were going to be too high in here. We're actually probably two inches too low. So, uh, we're probably, we're probably going to have to more clean. So I think it's it's a flat, block. Either a block or we're gonna maybe put a uh, maybe if we can put an add leaf in there, a helper spring to Yeah we got to give them a little give them a little more arms. I don't think we've got any two inch wide springs. They're still gonna be flat. This just might have to be temporary. That's a lot of block, ain't it? Hit it. It's too high, maybe. What? Ain't it sitting up like that? I don't think so. No, it's level. It's it dead level. That is dead level. Don't tell me! I know, I don't like how flat that is. Well, I don't know if she bounces, though. Oh, it's got the bounce. That's what no shocks will do. <laughs> that settles it down a little bit, don't it? Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be about it. But golly, man! Little tiny Rolling through the <laughs> What? I guess that's what we're asking. What was that? Little Tonka toys. Da na 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 na. What do you mean? Silly me. Yeah, I was just standing here looking, and it hit me. We were wondering why this shackle was leaning so far back. We we moved that spring back in that other hole. So what that did was it pushed it back. So. Uh, we're gonna lift it back up and move it in the other hole forward to see what it does to the shackle. And maybe we may just relocate the axle with the uh, spring pads if we need to. So anyway, let's do that real quick. Again. Not again.
It did it? Yeah. It's higher. Yeah. Higher than it was. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> what is squatting again? Damn close. Yeah. Check out the drive shaft. Yeah, I'm, we just have to guess at the pinion angle because I don't know exactly where the transfer case is going to be. Okay. That's going to be close. I want to come down a little bit. <sighs> the, I think. Oh, okay. The whole van moved with it. You're good. You come down? No, I, th I think that's it. And when you're finding pinion angle, what like how what's how crucial how? Well, I mean it, it, it's pretty crucial. I <laughs> I don't get as technical as some of the guys do. They say if you're not using a double carbon joint, that this is supposed to be parallel with your whatever you're chasing to. So in other words, like this, a carbon joint, they say point it directly to it. I've always pointed them up a little. Uh, you don't want to go too far, especially with blocks and leaf springs, because if you do, the torque of the vehicle when it takes off, the, the pinion will come up. And if, you, if you've got blocks, the blocks will uh, multiply that because it, if you look at, if you think of the way you're gonna, like if you wanted to tilt the refrigerator back, if your hands real real close together, it's harder to tilt it. Well, that's the same way the rear end does. But if you got them stretched out like a long block, you can really do it. You got a lot more force, so that'll allow those springs to really do like a S shape. So you don't want your pinion to go up past, you know, when you're accelerating. So anyway, but you know, if the thing about it is, if you get it. If you get it a little off, they make the degree shims that you can you can put in there and and, and adjust it. But we've uh, we've done pretty good by eyeballing them. They they ride pretty good and don't have much uh, vibration. So now we're eventually going to go to springs. Good. Yeah, I, I think uh, <clears throat> this will work fine. Don't get me wrong. But when you stand to the side and look, you can see a lot of the spring, and I, I just I just don't like that. I like it to look. It wouldn't have come from the factory like that. So we're we're going to try to figure out what kind of springs with the right arch will work, and then might even if we find springs with the right arch, we may even get rid of the shackle flip and put the shackles back like in the uh, original position so you just don't see so much of the spring when you're looking into the side through the fender wheel i don't know that's just something not well, that yeah, this won't work the performance of this is just fine it's gonna it's work it's just fine. the flatness of the spring yeah, being up just, so high you know, and i don't like a bunch of stuff shackles hanging down and stuff like that that's just that's me it's like i've seen a lot of guys take these vans and and if you did this please don't 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 read anything to it i'm just voicing my opinion when they take the unibody and just weld it onto another frame, then all that stuff is hanging down. It just, it looks ridiculous. It's, yeah, just, it it's looks, just not me. It's, I don't know. It's just not me. Proportions and stuff, man. Yeah, Proportions, I, I'm look. real. I, I'm, I'm an eyeball kind of guy. If it, if it looks good to me, I'm, I'm more into the looking good than I am the performance of this. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be like that. But. <laughs> I'll sacrifice performance and stuff to look good. You gotta look good. You gotta look good. You gotta look good. All right, let's see. It's like all these new cars. And, uh, you know, they ride good. They, they don't sound good. They 
they'll Bluetooth, they'll brush your teeth, they'll floss your hair, they'll rip your, uh, stuff it out of your old couch and put it back, but they're ugly. That's just the bottom line. They're ugly and they're they all ugly. look the same. They're ugly and it's not the same. Yeah. All right, I say tack it in there. That's the problem with brake lines, they catch on fire. Quickly, quickly. Man, you done set your head on fire. Man, see, if I wasn't wearing that hat, I'd, I'd, I'd have been all the heck. I'd have been like, wow! Good. <laughs> oh, didn't fall over and try to get out from under. All right. You were talking to me, Give me that stool right there. I don't Dude, the, your hat's got flames, the stool's got flames, the van's got flames. That's how we roll, man. On fire. <laughs> Modified lift blocks. Oh man. You ain't gonna get them like this, but. Uh, pretty much we just made some offset blocks, and that's what's moving the rear end into the correct spot. But, uh, you know, this is just some metal we had, but we're reinforcing it here with these big, thick pieces. That's what he's doing now. He's heating that up. Kind of weld that in there. We took one look at another lift block, and it's like, well, we can do that. Yeah. So, and bigger and better and thicker and heavier. As we mentioned before, this is all just temporary. Our goal is to get springs under there, but if it's going to be temporary, we still want it to be right. So. This is just so we can bounce it down to the gym. Exactly. I hope it don't bounce. I mean, I knew what it was, but... There's some kind of lift or some kind of new new vehicle. I don't know what. Something in here. Thanks, Brad. <laughs> yeah, I was... This thing I did, I took a picture and gave it to Justin. Justin. <laughs> what is it? Do you, do you need it? So, Check this out. Exactly. Our buddy Brad Cardell. This is Seth's bass player. Plays with Seth. Has played played with him for years. And he's he's <laughs> got a recycling place in Greensboro, Gate City Recycling. He sent us a text yesterday. Somebody brought this stuff in to recycle. I can't believe it. It's all brand new. I hadn't even been out the bag. So so. Like, do y'all need this? You can have it. But he also has a Ford van. He wants to have a Ford van. <laughs> 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 Ew. <laughs> the first one. The first one. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all will definitely be seeing that. Cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, right there. All right, I'm gonna hold it. Hopefully, it don't draw. I think I got it. How's that look? It looks pretty. It's pretty straight too. So.
What do you think? It looks good. It's pretty, fairly straight and level. So that was, uh, so we don't have to change our pitman arm. We just cut that off. Modifying the uh, crossover steering kit. And what he's going to do, Ivan, just freaking give it to her. Fill that thing up with weld, shape it, and that way it's all one solid piece. Oh my gosh, yeah. See you, Brad. Bye, Thanks for the parts, Brad. I didn't realize that you were filming. Yeah. Don't whip the gravel trip the other way up. So, lift blocks, spring pads. Yeah. And let's see, let's get this light on. Our wheel spacers. They shipped the wrong wheel spacers to us and had it send them back. They won't be here till Wednesday, uh, Thursday. It's Tuesday it's now. Till yeah. Wednesday. Tires spaced out like they're supposed to be. Yeah. Uh, it's not needed, but for both looks to I'm line sure. up with the body and just to get a little further away, we like to run them, so. <sighs> All right, looks like me and you are going to be tightening up rear springs. All right, let's see. Spring, rear springs are tight, in, installed. Yep. Okay. All right, I'm getting ready to go to the tire shop. We, uh, I found a set of tires yesterday on Facebook Marketplace, some 33 1250s, which are bigger than the ones that we had on here. We got, these were 32 12, 32 11 50s that we had on it when we were mocking it up. And we would have probably used these if they weren't so dry rotted. Uh, yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty far they're, gone. Yeah, they're pretty dry rotted. So. Uh, I found a good deal on a used set on Facebook Marketplace just temporarily to get it going, and we will uh, we'll end up getting a new set for it uh, pretty soon. And we, after, the reason I didn't go on and buy a new set is because we may actually, uh, once we put the 33s on there, it looks like it could almost stand a bigger tire. So we're going to see what it looks like with the 33s and ride it like that. We may even... When we go to buy new tires, we may go with 34s or 35s. But uh, as it stands right now, uh, even if we went with 35s, it's going to be pushing it the way it's geared now. It's geared so high, it would it's going to be a dog with 33s, but it would be a super dog with 35s. Yeah. So until we get gears, we're not going to make a final decision on tires. So these are just some temporary ones that are uh, they got decent tread on them, but they're not dry riding. So. I'm getting ready to go swap them now. All right. We'll see you after a while. They were 
today we'll get half a shakedown day on it, and then tomorrow another half, and then take off. Uh, no, wait, take off tomorrow. Yeah, you take off tomorrow. Yeah, I take <laughs> off tomorrow. <laughs> Gosh, yeah, I can't do nothing. I feel like an old, an old hound dog. Old, yeah, <laughs> an old hound dog crying outside. <laughs> Thank you to Astro Van Tribe. He sent us stickers for all our toolboxes. And also check out Mike's designs. YouTube channel, all this. He's got a killer Astro. So he was uh, spotted wearing a swim shop shirt in one of his videos. So he gave us a shout out and just returning the favor. Y'all check him out. Got a lot of cool content. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> awesome. Just to get us on the road for right now.
Okay, I'll be your camera chauffeur for today. Uh, here we go. See if this thing's driving straight.
Well, what'd you think? I think it should be back to what it was. Have we'll get on it. We will get on it. Give us a couple hours. All right. All right. I'll leave tomorrow. <laughs> All right, we got Olivia's van done. Y'all, uh, y'all saw the work, so uh, I don't know. Everything turned out good on it. We like it. Uh, we got to make a few adjustments. I think we're gonna lift it up maybe about an inch in the front after uh, get some more miles on it and make sure everything settles in. They're gonna drive it up to the Virginia this weekend to Ivan's mom and daddy. So that's gonna uh, that's gonna let us know. We'll learn a lot. We'll learn a lot from that trip, and we are gonna do. We're probably gonna do something different on the springs in the back. Uh, probably put some kind of regular square body rear leaf, leaf springs on it when we find out what arcs we need. And uh, as you know, it's, uh, it's two wheel drive right now. We're still working on the transmission, rebuilding it. So uh, y'all will see us put the uh, transmission and transfer case in it, get out all that good stuff. Assess will be the next one. Mm -hmm. Next two wheel drive conversion we do. And then, Probably get mine in there and do that. We gotta get these things. If we're gonna be a van, four wheel drive van shop, we need to have four wheel drive vans on the road. So. Yeah. But anyway, thank y'all. Like, subscribe, check out our buddies at OK Recycling. We appreciate it. And we'll keep the videos coming. Merch. Yep, get you some merch. We gotta order some more. Stickers, shirts, and we're still working on what else we're gonna get. So uh, a lot of y'all sent suggestions in and we're we're looking over those. We're gonna get we're gonna get something else out there. So, uh, that's good to me. Once you get all your cobwebs out of your springs, you'll be able to do a whole lot better breaking because them webs in there just get in your springs and don't let you get you from your wheel cylinders because spiders... Don't like to see people progress more than they do. So that's why they get in here and take your breaks and you know what I mean. So get all you get all your cobwebs out. Look at her, it's more in there. There you go. Come on out of there. 
Ain't nobody said you could do it anyway. I think they had apartments in there. I think so. Some high rises. Oh yeah. Three B, could you get out please? All right, the other side. <laughs>